Okay guys, this is your homework from uh, Friday evening. Okay, so I asked you to do number page 426 to 47, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so number 3 gives us a pattern like this. So there's a square, two squares, three squares, etc. So the pattern of the squares in the first, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, number of matchsticks also makes a sequence. So there's 4 matchsticks here, there's 7 here, there's 10 here. And there you can clearly see that's a linear sequence and it, go, it goes up in threes. So next one is 16, 19, etc. Right, so they ask for the sixth pattern. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will have 19 matchsticks. Okay, then the next one um, says uh, to find TN, find the general term, okay? So we look through and we say it's 4, 7, 9, 13. So I need my A, which is the first term, which is 4. And I need D, which is what I'm going to open, and I'm going to open plus 3. So D is plus 3. So then you fill in TN is equal to Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. So a was 4, right? n, you don't know, minus 1 times d is 3. So multiply in there by 3, so that's tn equals 4 plus 3 by n is 3n, three, 3 by minus 1 is minus 3. And that simplifies to 3n plus 1. Okay, so then it says find t50. So that means everywhere I see an n, put in a 50. So it's 3 times 50 plus 1, which is 151. So if you were to continue up for 50, 50 terms, you would end up at 151. Okay, so that's number, uh, number 3. Okay, then number 4. Number 4 gives us a pattern like this. Right, okay. So if we um, where we count the matchsticks, so there's five, then there's seven, then there's nine, right? So then the next one must be 11. There's a linear sequence going up in twos. So the one after that is 13. So pattern number five has one, two, three, four. This is number five. So answer is 13. It has 13 matches, okay? And then it asks me for the general term. So this is a sequence, A is equal to the first term which is 5, D is the common difference, what I'm adding on every time which is plus 2 again. Okay, so then you fill in, so Tn is equal to 5 plus N minus 1 times 2, multiply out Tn is equal to 5 plus 2N minus 2. So simplifying that, that's Tn is equal to 2n and 5 minus 2 is plus 3. There's your general term. Okay, and then the third part of that sum says for what, which number and um, term has 51 matchsticks. So you don't know what you're putting in for n, that's what you're trying to find out. So all you know is when you put in for n, when you filled in for n, you ended up with 51. So you don't know what you filled in for n. But you know, 2n plus 3, when you filled in, it gave you 51. So this is n's on one side, numbers on the other. So leave the 2n, bring over the plus 3, becomes a minus 3. So you get 2n is equal to 48. There's a 2 stuck to the end, so divide each side by 2. And you get n is equal to 24. Okay, and that was number 4. Okay. So number five, I didn't draw it out, but it gives us hexagons. So in the first hexagon, there's six matchsticks. Then they added on another one, so 11 matchsticks. Then there were 16 matchsticks, okay, etc. So you can see it's a linear sequence, and it's gone up in fives, okay? So the next one would be, add on another five would be 21. So that's giving pattern number four, which is what me asked me for, and that's 21. So when they asked for the term-to-term -term rule, they just wanted in words, right? 
Okay, start with five. Oh, sorry, start with six. And then add five. Every time. Okay, that's all that is. So then it says find Tn, right? So from that sequence, A is the first term, which is 6. D is the common difference, what you're adding on, which is 5. So that means Tn is equal to... Tn is equal to 6 plus n minus 1 times 5. So multiply in by 5, so Tn equals 6 plus 5n minus 5 and then put your numbers together so that's 5n and 6 minus 5 is plus 1 okay so there's your tn then it says for what value of n is tn equal to 66 right so that means you don't know what you filled in for n right okay but you do know that 5n plus 1 will give me 66 then x is on one side, numbers on the other. So leave the 5n, move the plus 1 over, it becomes a minus 1. So you get 5n equals 65, and divide each side by 5, and you get n is equal to 13. So that means in the 13th sequence, right, in the 13th one, right, you'll be on 66. Okay, and then they asked me, does any sequence contain 88 matchsticks? So is there any answer for n where tn equals gives me 88? Okay, it is 88, yeah. Okay, so tn was 5n plus 1. 88. So n's on one side, numbers on the other. So 5n equals 88 minus 1. So 5n equals 87 and I divide each side by 5 and I end up with n is equal to 117.4 and you can't have 17.4 the number the terms are number 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is not a whole number right because when you're counting the terms you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc so this is not a whole number, so there is no term with 88 matchsticks. Matchsticks MS, okay? Is that right? Okay, next one is number six. Right, so number six, there they drew, I didn't draw the first three shapes, but the first one has the middle and one at each branch. The second one has the middle and two at each branch. The third one has the middle and three circles at each branch. So the fourth shape has the middle and four in each going in each direction. Okay, so then they did a table and they said shape number one has five circles. Shape number two had nine circles. Shape number three, right, okay, you're going up in fours, aren't you? So shape number three must have 13 circles. Shape number four, go up and forwards again, must have 17 circles. And shape number five, again go up again, must have 21 circles. So it's gone up and forwards every time. Okay, so um, part three said describe in words, right? Okay, so um, start with five, start with five, Start with five, add four every time. Right, and then it says point T in. So this is sequence. A is the first term, which is five. G is the common difference, which is four. And then you fill in. So Tn equals five plus N minus one times so that's Tn is equal to 5 
plus 4n minus 4. So when you simplify that, that's 4n plus 1. 5 minus 4 is plus 1. Is that all right? Okay, so tn is 4n plus 1. So then they say, when does tn equal 81? So tn is 4n plus 1. When does that equal to 81? So n's on one side, numbers on the other. So leave the 4n equals 81 minus 1. So 4n is equal to 80. And then you divide each side by 4. And you end up with n is equal to 20. So term number 20 will have 81 uh, circles. Okay, and then they said, does anyone have 89 circles? So he sussed it out. So 4n plus 1, does that ever equal to 89? So n's on one side, numbers on the other. So 4n equals 89 minus 1. So 4n, 4n is equal to 88, divide each side by 4. And you get n is equal to 22. So the answer is yes. Term number 22 has 89 circles. Okay, so that's the end of last night's homework.